G'day. Welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a grade 10 question that's actually very good for helping kids with orders of operations. So actually it's good for all grades below grade 10. And it goes as follows. It seems a little weird at first, but, but we'll stick with it. Let at, I guess that's how you pronounce that symbol, denote the averaged width operator, namely A at B is going to be the average of A and B. So I just wrote on the board already. Which of the following distributive laws hold for all numbers X, Y, and Z? And the question has three laws, as you can see on the, on the screen, but uh, I just wrote down one of them here, the first one. Something like x at y plus z apparently is meant to equal x at y plus x plus z, and so on. And the question is, which of these three actually hold true? All right, so it seems fairly obvious what to do in this, this case. Just do something. Strategy number two, just do it. So let me just play with the first one. And I guess I'll do the same play with the second and third ones, but I'll leave that for, for later on. Let's just play with the first one. So we've got this strange operation called at, which is just averaging, and we're going to ask, is this true, the first formula presented to us, for all numbers x, y, and z? Well, what can we do? So let's look at, the, look at one, we'll stick with that, and we'll look at the left side, which is x at y plus z. And it's good to think your way through it. There's actually two quantities that are being averaged with. I've got x is the left quantity, and y plus z is its own quantity unto itself helps kids recognize parentheses, the grouping term here. So what's it going to be? Well, according to the definition, A at B is the average of those two quantities. This guy must be the average of X and Y plus Z, all over 2, which is X plus Y plus Z over 2, because I don't need the parentheses there for that sum. How does that compare to the right-hand side? Well, let's just do it. Here's the right-hand side. OK, let's look at it carefully. Uh, operation of addition, two terms being added together, each of them being an average. So it's x at y, so this is x plus y over 2, plus x at z, whoops, x plus z over 2. And uh, it might be helpful in order to compare it to the left side to put it as a single fraction over the denominator of 2 as well. So this is actually x plus y plus x plus z all over 2. And the question is, does this left side always match the right hand side? Does this expression always match that expression. And we can see right away the answer is no. Well, not always. We've got x plus y plus z over 2. We've got x plus y plus z plus another extra x over 2. If x happened to be 0, then these formulas would actually match. But it said for all numbers x, y, and z. So if x is non-zero, this isn't working. That statement's not true. Cross it out. So it's just a matter of doing something. So I invite you to now do something with part two and do something with part three and see if you can make sense of the answer to this question. All right, when you've done so, have a look at the essay that goes with this video. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations, please go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.